Hello everyone, I am Katana the Lightning Cat. Who the hell are you? I just thought I'd throw that in for funsies. Okay. Watching that guy with that video. Paused it right there for this bit. Just give me a moment. Hey, you drawer close. Thank you. Give me just a moment. Number one, they begin by looking at the videos that get the most views on your channel. Okay. Well, the video getting the most views on my channel is my channel advertisement video. I think maybe I should fix that. I think maybe I should update that video. Just put a new one to reflect the current and yeah, the current nature of me and what the fuck I'm doing. It's not a bot reviewing, it's an actual person, which is why this whole damn process takes so long. It literally says damn process. Hold on, I'll show you. Damn process. Okay, some of the guys and girls up at YouTube use words. Fuck's sake, I use fucking words. The guy does not check every single video, but rather the most popular ones. Okay, things that were already flagged by content ID and your most recent videos. Hmm. This may be specifically for him, but I can glean some helpful information for me to make things easier between me and YouTube itself and the people working at YouTube. Number two, YouTube no longer allows compilation videos of any kind. Compiling memes, and I'm adding the quotation fingers, thank you very much. Doing top compilations, video edits, compiling movie clips, all these things will get your channel demonetized. That stands up to scrutiny. I saw a Crunchyroll official channel with uh, an upload of one full episode of uh, Kobayashi Sanchi no Made Dragon. No ads on it. Makes a bit sense. Demonetized manually. Okay. It's a separate thing from copyright claims. Yeah, YouTube, we need to talk about your copyright claim system and how you let bots run it. We'll save that for later. Just put a pin in that one for now. Even though it's the most egregious issue in everyone. Everyone is going on about it. Literally everyone right now. I'll just put a pen in it for later. The only exception is if you include voiceovers, text on screen, and this has to be very high quality. Something as good as Honest Trailers. Huh, Honest Trailers. Hey, cool, rock on. <coughs> Honest trailers. That gives you an example. If you're going to do something similar to what they do, they do take clips of a movie, put it together, provide a voiceover, and text on screen, and they're doing it completely within the fair use thing. So, yeah, that works because. Hold on, I'm getting Honest Trailers confused with everything wrong with. 
they're similar. They do the same shit. That's an example of taking someone else's work and adding your own sarcasm, satire, or, or um, what's the other thing I use? Parody. Yeah, parody. Or, um... I forgot the words. Fuck it. There's three examples out of the dozen or so. But moving along. I had a look at your channel. Oh yeah, it's definitely custom tailored for this guy. And you uploaded a video on blah blah blah. And it was a compilation. This will 100% get your channel flagged. Best to remove any other videos like this. Okay. YouTube. Let's make something abundantly clear. You cannot demonetize the entire channel just because someone posts one video that is a compilation that is not on par with the video stylings of Honest Trailers or Everything Wrong With, okay? You, you cannot fucking do that. You can demonetize that one video. You can tell them, okay, you can't use that one video because these reasons. But telling people flat out to fucking remove those videos, that is terrorism. Flat fucking out terrorism. You're using your status to control what other people do by fear of them not getting any money to fucking exist on. If it's their primary source of income, like so many have turned to, and for me, for various reasons, I cannot work a job, <laughs> all my applications have been declined, turning to YouTube is my only legal recourse for working and getting money in. So you saying that right there, that's bullshit. Don't do that. Back the fuck off of that. Step three, help the YouTube reviewers green light your stuff by fixing your descriptions. This is the one single point that I thought I needed to take immediate action on, me, myself. These chaps get hundreds of videos to review every day. Eh, wrong, they get millions. If your stuff looks professionally edited, they might get confused and think you nabbed it from somewhere else. I can see that, because out of the millions of people who make videos, you've got a lot of people doing the exact same techniques and editing techniques. It was a bit redundant, me saying techniques twice. Moving right along. <laughs> if you filmed it yourself right, all footage has been filmed by me. Well, that's a good thing to do in your channel about page. Honestly, that, that doesn't work for putting it in your channel about page to cover every video you make because later on you may branch out and do something that has footage from other content in it. So, you know, putting it in each video description for the videos that it's relevant to, that's a good idea. But in your channel about page, let's let's be clear, let's be honest and concise. Let's be perfectly transparent. You can you can put in I intend to keep recording all footage for these things. But as far as saying all this footage has been filmed by me, if you do something that I do, and you point your camera at the TV screen and, and let a clip roll, 
and then pause it and then go and yammering about like I do not all the footage is filmed by me I'm capturing someone else's footage and using it in bits of context for the general point that I'm going for and now I've done that in the how to fix YouTube video number one in my playlist uh, what was it hold up just give me one moment yeah gotta click these things over here just give me a moment I should have just clicked that button right there okay stop that No, no, come on. Load a little bit faster. I know you can. Load a little bit faster. This is a great time for anyone who wants to go off and get a snack and come back. I'm, I'm way over click for this, you know. It should have only taken me like two clicks to get to where I wanted to go, but instead I went the long way around. There we go, playlists. Yeah, fighting social manipulation. Yeah, there you go. Honestly, in, in that one, the first one was claimed by a bot for the YouTuber whose channel I got the information from and yeah I was right in the middle of uh, putting a link to his channel at the end of the video you know credit where credit's due and all and <clears throat> modifying the description to say that yeah got this from him so go and support his channel too when their automatic bot, before it even went public, while it was still in the middle of processing, just sent me an email saying, oh, this video has been claimed. Yeah, so YouTube, your, your fucking automatic claiming bots, this is fucking bullshit. Coincidentally, the dude was talking about using bots and automatic systems to counter automatic systems in this bullshit fucking war that's going on in the fucking social media scene and this fellow Jay guys looks like he got caught in the crossfire so big reference back to that uh, video that I referenced in that other video that was from that other smarter everyday yeah that guy so yeah all of this is relevant and relative anyway back on subject matter here so all this footage has been filmed by me just doesn't work in your channel about page not for me so I have to do it for playlists and videos independently basically try and make it as clear as possible that you own the content okay words have been misspelled and then number four says read these policies YouTube keeps updating them but these are the latest rules it's a pain to read but it's fairly helpful to bear this in mind and it gives a link last edited okay this video came out two weeks ago for me last edited 131 so a couple of months ago those policies may have been changed again okay I just had a thought hey YouTube you've got a surface 
that everyone sees with their eyes, they see the surface. On the surface, you need to have these clear defined boundaries in place. Not below layers of murky water where everyone has to dig through hours of a slog. That just doesn't help anyone. Addendum on fighting social manipulation and the reference to that video that was made by Smarter Every Day. Making an automatic system to counter the um, bad actors automatic system which in turn it's just gonna keep escalating it's just gonna keep going in layers and layers and more and more people like this fellow Jake eyes myself even people like Pewds T-Series Jacksepticeye Markiplier Everybody's going to get caught in a cost fire. Caught. Yeah, I'm trying to mix words together again. Caught in the crossfire. Everybody. So, hey, everybody. Don't rely on bots. Oh, yeah, smarter every day. Um, right now, I'm waiting for a, a reply to that dispute that I put in for that. And you using an automated bot to detect and claim stuff with your own work in it, whether it's your bot or it's YouTube's bot, doesn't make a single bit of difference. The fact is that a bot has claimed stuff for your channel. What it needs to do is to flag it for you to go and take the attention to so that you can determine how best to deal with a situation instead of letting an automated system go ahead with it before the video is even uploaded in public. Otherwise, more people who don't deserve it are going to get caught in a crossfire. So, me saying this is acting as a test on your moral standing and fiber. Your character as a person. I'm going to be 100 fucking percent completely open and honest about it. So anyone viewing this and who is, you know, watching at this point, um, go off and tell dude it's smarter every day so you can get back and see this and go through and fix this situation because we need to rely less, a lot less, on automation and everyone needs to stop being lazy. That's what it boils down to. Everyone wants to be lazy and use a, an automatic system to do stuff for them. It's just not cricket. It's not right. Everybody involved myself included we all need to take the time to do things for our fucking selves stop relying on automation to take care of every fucking thing for us because you keep relying on these bot systems to do shit it's just gonna get worse and worse and even in that video by smarter every day where he went and talked with someone up at what it was at Facebook or YouTube headquarters yeah they're making a, a countermeasure for the countermeasure for the counter countermeasure for the counter countermeasure it just keeps going out of control it's just gonna keep fucking snowballing and like I've said before in like two maybe three videos hey YouTube I'll do it for fucking half price All it takes is someone to sit down with me and say, okay, these are the things we're looking for. Ad infinitum as the, the list of stuff grows. It's non-convergent. Go figure. I get that. So every time something changes, okay, update. These things have changed. This is what we're doing now. 
it needs to be hands on. You, you can't expect this machine to run itself and check itself when you're not even checking it to make sure it's running properly to begin with, now can you? That's the far end extreme I see this automation going to. Yeah, infomercials back in the 90s. Set it and forget it! No, we don't need that. We need less of that. <laughs> Those were about cooking. Cooking is a fucking hands-on thing. So hey, everybody, think of YouTube as a kitchen. And yeah, it, to some extent you can make machines to, to cook food and whatnot. But who's going to fucking maintain the machines? You're going to make another machine to maintain the machine. At that point, you're snowballing the whole bullshit all over again. You're going to make a machine to maintain the machine that's maintaining the machine that's cooking the fucking food. No! That's too labor intensive. If everyone just bucks the fuck up, stops being lazy, and does what the fuck they're supposed to do, do what's right because it's what's fucking right to begin with, things will go a hell of a lot smoother. Spend less time programming algorithms. Spend more time learning hands-on. That way, Shit like this with J guys just doesn't fucking happen. Or, you know, the most egregious example I can point to is what happened with the Angry Joe show, where his entire fucking channel got claimed. And then for four fucking seconds, SME claimed. All, all this bullshit has to stop. This bureaucrat bureaucratization and corporatization of YouTube which ties back to something said a few years ago about what was it outside Xbox extra one of those girls on those gaming news channels was talking about that the wild west days of YouTube are over well I hope you're fucking happy with yourself because now we're into the full bureaucratization and corporatization of YouTube. Look how fucking well that's doing. Fucking idiots. And that stupid idiot said that right after so 2018 Logan Paul's fucking bullshit um fucking vlog in the forest in Japan. Everybody remember that? It seems every fucking year in January on the fucking dot basically we see the same bullshit over and over and over again. Hashtag adpocalypse. It's because the bureaucratization and corporatization of YouTube and the fucking idiots who are allowed to do actual terrorism, and Logan Paul did use actual fucking terrorism, pretending to be shot with a shotgun and having blood splatter all over your fucking window in front of fans is terrorism. Legitimately. Fucking terrorism. And he's not even in fucking prison? Fuck off! Allowing shitholes like that, bad actors, as they call them, like that. That's watering down the truth greatly. He's a fucking terrorist. Allowing bitches like that to continue to make money on YouTube is unfucking acceptable Just because he makes you millions, YouTube, don't mean a fucking thing. I've said it before, and this is the second time I'm going to say it. Susan Wojcicki, grow a fucking set of morals and start rubbing them together. And on that note, I'll end this video with a very fond fuck you all.
Till next time. Links in the description. Throw some fucking money at me so I can do more shit. Thank you very much. Now fuck off.